Good morning, folks. This is Chi Baker from Street Tactical Integrations, and I wanted to briefly cover some information about the upcoming Jedi training program. <clears throat> and to start off with, I want to talk about kind of the equipment. Uh, really, only equipment that is necessary is some sort of lightsaber uh, implement tool. This is something you could make homemade. It could be uh, a reinforced, uh, you know, old cardboard tube from that leftover Christmas wrapping that you used. Uh, it could be um, a broom handle that you've got left over in the garage somewhere. Something that you can wield uh, and swing around. <clears throat> uh, for those of you who want to purchase a lightsaber, Here's an example of one. So this is a telescoping lightsaber. It's got some fun little sounds that go along with it. Um, this cost $20 on Amazon. And uh, I actually bought this one at uh, Toys R Us, which unfortunately no longer exists. The nice thing about this one is it has the lights, it has the sounds. It also is fairly combat worthy, meaning you can hit this thing, um, uh, kind of beat it pretty severely, and it doesn't break. Uh, so this one I've had actually for roughly three years, and my son um, has used it to bash many things. Eventually it will break. If you hit it, swing it completely full force um, against you know, a tree or something, it's, you're going to break it right here. You can actually then just re-glue it. But, um, again, roughly uh, 20 25 bucks, you can get a pretty decent lightsaber. Uh, and this is the Star Wars uh, model, meaning, um, and if you go onto Amazon, you just hit Star Wars lightsaber or Ray lightsaber or Luke Skywalker lightsaber or anything, they'll show you these. And it's the Star Wars brand. Um, <clears throat> so, there you go. Uh, the other thing I talked about is foam sticks. And these are the foam sticks that I sell. They're 20 bucks for two of them. For a pair, you can get two blue or two orange. The way I teach the curriculum, I suggest people get one blue or one, and one orange because I say blue, hit with the blue, hit with the orange, hit with the blue, hit with the orange, versus hit with your right hand or left hand. A lot of kids really struggle with right and left hands, so the color coordination is very beneficial. Again, you can go to Home Depot and just make these. So you can get three quarter inch or one inch dowels um, and cut them to the length of desire and, uh, and then take a pool noodle that you can buy at the dollar store and cut it and just wrap duct tape or any sort of tape around to secure it to the dowel. So if you don't want to purchase these, you can simply make them, again, out of that broom handle you got lying around in the in the garage, or you can go to Home Depot. The dowels themselves, if you get a, a dowel, you know, it comes on a longer thing, um, is going to cost you about seven bucks. The foam noodles are going to cost you um, like two bucks. So roughly around ten dollars you can make these uh, again or you could just buy two of them for 20 bucks it's up to you uh, these fortunately um, actually are made really well and so they will also put up that with the test of time <clears throat> um, but you don't have to have these at all uh, it is going to be helpful with the kind of material that we cover this next one is a focus mitt. So a focus mitt is something you can put over your hand and hit to protect your hand. Uh, and then, of course, boxing gloves. These are kid boxing gloves. And I've got, I think, two sets that I can sell parents if they really, if they want them. Uh, again, you can go on Amazon and look at what you want to find. I talked about, you know, if you've got a, a, um, an oven mitt, you can use an oven mitt for this and maybe reinforce it with some extra fabric or batting. Uh, and for punching mitts, again, you can just take any 
gloves you have for your kids. Hopefully all of you guys have gloves and mittens and they can use those. So you don't have to buy gear is kind of what I'm getting at uh, if you don't want to, if you don't want to invest in that. <clears throat> and that's of course up to you. So having said that is that if you're super creative, uh, you can probably look at stuff you have around the house and just make the stuff. If you have some money that you want to invest in some equipment, I would say first thing is get the lightsaber. The second thing um, is uh, get some sort of um, foam sticks, make those, It'd be a fun weekend project to make them with your kids. And the last thing if you want, you can buy some of the, the punching gear. Again, we are gonna be practicing punches and kicks. This is a martial art class. Uh, you know, and we're filtering it to the guise of Star Wars, uh, but it's it's an actually, a tr we're gonna be practicing true martial arts. So you're gonna want gear to protect your child and protect you. It does hurt, even my four-year-old, when I ever punch my hands repetitively, it does not feel good. So I'm gonna want some sort of barrier between her fists and my hand um, as well as uh, you know she may or may not eventually want some sort of uh, covering for her hands so again those are optional uh, for those who are kind of concerned about the budget plan of this course <clears throat> the second thing is I've got two paperwork things I need you to sign one is um, one is kind of a fees and policy sheet. Uh, it covers kind of the different classes I have and just some of the, the policies of the school. The second one is a waiver, uh, participation waiver. Um, essentially, the two-piece paper serve as understanding more about the school and the class and kind of the policies. The second one is just a liability waiver that any quality schools has. I also offer other martial art classes um, for uh, people so if you're interested in more martial arts particularly more adult martial art classes you can look on the sheet or contact me more for more information <clears throat> uh, and then just a quick uh, uh, clarification about the fee so this month we only have two classes uh, and every participant needs to get a school shirt and so that's why it's fifty dollars for this month basically covering the two classes and then the remainder, which is $25 for the shirt, the school shirt costs $25. Every month after that is $50. So after this month, every class is $50. Um, anyone who takes the course or is participating in the course uh, needs to pay $50. So if it's like a um, father-daughter duo, it's $50 per person. So that would end up being $100 for both people to enroll. If money is an issue, I'd rather have people participate if they need to pay less money. So if that's an issue, just contact me personally, we'll work something out. Um, again, this is to really help the youth. It's to help parent-child relationships. It's to build values that hopefully will <clears throat> really help your child thrive. Um, so if cost is an issue, I don't want that be an issue for you guys. I would rather have people participate um, or say, versus say, I can't afford this, unfortunately, we're gonna have to bow out. <clears throat> the last piece that I wanna emphasize is I do ask three months participation at a minimum. And the reason is basically group dynamics. If people are coming and going, it doesn't help the group thrive. It doesn't help children feel secure. There's a lot of things that go into when people enroll and then leave quickly. So three months at a minimum uh, and if after the three months you say, you know what, this doesn't seem right for us, my child isn't interested in Star Wars or lightsabers, we're not interested in him or her learning a martial art, or they learning martial art, uh, you know, we rather have the dark force win over the light force, you know, any of those things that may happen after three months, um, you can talk to me personally and we can, uh, you know, have you exit um, in an honorable way. So. Uh, again, three months participation <clears throat> is uh, required, and that's really just to help your child really understand and participate in something that is very worthy of their development, physical development, mental development, and if you have spiritual development, and also just camaraderie, um, giving them a chance to kind of interact with other kids in a fun, healthy manner. 
and really for a parent-child to, to connect. Part of the parent-child thing is, again, every in the beginning of the class, we talk about a value. And I really would urge, encourage, advise, hope that parents are involved <clears throat> at a minimum with that conversation. So you could log on with your child, sit for that portion. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got up at 5.30 in the morning, so I'm a little hoarse. Um, and uh, you know, at least participate in that piece, so you know what's happening. That conversation, uh, what the group is talking about, what your child's participation, what their understanding is of the concept of what does kindness mean? How do we utilize kindness each day? What does kindness mean to our family? And so we're going to have those discussions in the beginning of the of the class. And I really, really would appreciate for parents to be present for that. And then if you need to exit to do whatever parents need to do when their childs are being occupied by another adult, which I totally understand, you can. But I really hope that parents continue to stay. Again, some of the, some of the drills are going to be partner-oriented. Not that a partner is necessary, but it's definitely more enjoyable, more favorable. And because of COVID, we're not meeting live or in person right now. So, uh, you know, them having a parent or a sibling um, is going to be of great value. So. Hopefully this answers some questions, gives you some more information and clarification. And I am super, super, super stoked for this course. It's something that came kind of an idea about four years ago on May 4th, which is May the 4th be with you. And uh, the, kind of I've continued to engineer the course and then kind of did a little bit of um, sampling of teaching my kids some of it and saying like, let's do this. Let's, let's make it happen. It's a fun course. It's a great time since kids are at home. There's a real loss of camaraderie, of peer interaction. There's a loss of physical engagements um, because kids are stuck in the screen for so long. It's a lack of that physical energy. Um, and the world, I think, could need more positive energy working on the, you know, the light side of the force and all those things. So thank you so much, and may the force be with you.